Shalom. First and foremost, call Allah and wa Kabbalah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Ram Chakwadash. Double unto the elder apostles of the great Muslim who tell us the truth, who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the awful elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. When will you realize this devil Esau truly hates you? And uh, those of you that have been around long enough, I'm sure you remember that you know there was a series that I used to upload entitled when will you realize this devil Esau truly hates you and um you know it was uh of course put up you know for edification purposes you know I intended to you know pretty much shed the light on the continual hatred that Esau has for Jacob which is all continued all throughout prophecy all right, it, it tells you that in Amos, the first chapter, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, you know, how his anger did tear perpetually. You know, he, he every chance that he got, you know, he, he took vengeance against Jacob. And in these last days, you know, that shame is covering him. And he's, uh, every day he's exposed. But, you know, this, uh, back and forth, you know, this, this, natural bred hatred that they have goes back to the beginning you now we always go back to the origin in the garden when you had the serpent you know which was uh the spirit of esau before he came as esau he was the serpent in the garden and also he was cain in the reincarnation which is why when abel and cain was on the scene and uh abel did uh righteously you know the wicked you know, Cain, you know, he, he it, because his, you know, the, the, the soul that is in him is not upright in him. You know, he, he, he became envious that his brother, you know, was righteous and he wasn't. So he rose up and, and murdered him. So that same energy always been with this devil. Now, let's uh, real quick, let's go to Genesis 3. In verse 15, and this is where it all began. Genesis 3, verse 15, it says, And I will put enmity, meaning hostility, hatred, between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. All right? So, to this very day, that hostility still lives on. All right, Jake, you know, especially in this new generation, still can't seem to understand that this man always been their enemy, always has and always will be. Okay. So, you know, I just want to uh, play this little clip. You know, if you haven't seen it already, I actually saw this on our uh, World Star, but I want to find it on YouTube. And uh, what you're going to see is this little, this little demon Edomite. You know, he went and knocked on this uh, Jake's door with a whip in his hand, like it's still. 1765 you know and we still on a plantation and obviously this child even though it's, it's naturally inbred in him he was inherently taught you know his uh the hostility you know they're taught you know edomites are taught white supremacy at an early age all right and um you know they start to carry out those ideas as they get older and older you know, they look down upon you. You know, they'll, uh, you know, talk shit. Um, you know, all all type of things, man. But this right here shows you that attitude. And he, he, he probably not even older than nine years old. So let's uh, watch this real quick. Your son beat on mine. I need to talk about these damages to my car. Your son, let me show you the videos. You come outside and talk like an adult, then maybe we can figure it out. I'm 
trying to have a civil conversation. We can take it somewhere else if you want. You want I'm going to show you the video of your son hitting our door with this whip and hitting our car. I don't know, but I know that uh, my son told me that your boy jumped him on my on his way home. My boy, my son. Our son is. Yeah, because I saw the way you start walking up on me. We've already had beef before. We don't and have I, beef. I'm coming yeah. to have a conversation with you, sir. Your son? I'll show you the video. What's your son? Our son is 13. He doesn't even go to Lewis. Can you come look at our car? We have a video that he touched your car. The neighbor does across the street. You got a video? Come, come over here. Not really. We have it on video. All right, get off my property. Seriously, get off my property. Well, that's it. Because you ain't, because you ain't coming there walking nicely. You're accusing my son. I'm showing you the video. We're I'm showing you the video. You, the video. The door. you ain't showing me the video of me scratching your car. Get off my plant. That's my vine. That's my vine. Get off my plant. Baby, get off the vine. I didn't go there. No, way. that's my grapevine. All right, all right, all right Okay, all thank right. you. You owe me a plant. If I, I don't, I don't owe you. I bet you, I bet you want to bring my can you please yeah, stop, sir? Come All on. we want to do is just on, talk to you civil. That's the problem. You and your kids want to play victim. Your son came over here. Y'all are so violent. Your son came over here. Baby, please, no. Your son came over here with a whip. Bring his here again. Please. You have a gun. Come over here on my side of the You have a Bring your ass outside without the gun, then. I've already come out before. Come on, let's do it. No, I don't want that. Yeah, he ain't want that. <laughs> you see why they can't live without their damn sword? Oh, scary ass. You know, Esau's a coward, man. You know, he, he couldn't leave his front his front door without that sword. He was so damn terrified that he fired by accident just picking it up. And that's how uh, terrified they are of, of Jake. But uh, this is what we've been dealing with, those types you know, they put on their uh, uniform and badge and go terrorize Jake every day. So, you know, it's always been this way, man. All right. And, uh, you know, eventually, you know, because it's, it's for a long time, you know, Esau's had his way. It's been kind of one sided, but the Lord is, is going to make it right. He's going to make it fair. All right. But right now, these devils are still in power. So. You know, they're still going to, you know, you know, act up. But it's it's in their nature, you know. Now, real quick, before I, um, you know, get on to the scripture. How many of y'all remember this dude? He came out a couple of years ago and he pretty much, you know, said what it was. He told the truth. And we're in a time where a lot of these Edomites are seeking to please the poor. All right. You know, some of them feeling guilt or whatever the case may be. But he even broke it down and he told you that so-called white supremacy is inherently taught. So let's uh, listen to this real quick. This is how white supremacy works. And the other way white supremacy works and what we're indoctrinated to do from from birth, all of us, no matter who you are, if you are white, you are taught this shit. And you're taught it either directly or indirectly, consciously or unconsciously, you're taught it. And you're taught it by all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different messages, but it's taught. It sure is. That's why I remember, I don't know if y'all remember that uh, video, it might still be up on YouTube, where this uh, Edomite, she confronted her little toddler daughter about who ate up her uh, cookies. And, you know, she was pretending like she didn't know and then when she finally confessed, she knew who ate him. She asked her, who was it? A black man. And then they, they, you know, she thought it was cute and they both, you know, laughed. So they're definitely taught at a young age. All right. But um, when you think about it, 
Esau is not wrong for, for, for teaching that because at least they know who their enemy is. And we're polar opposites, man. All right, Jacob is, is, is to be or represent the seed of the righteous and Esau is the seed of the wicked. And the Lord always, you know, had that dynamic play out in the earth man, and is dealing with the duality of the Most High. All right, so Rock 33 and verse uh, 14, it says, Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon the works of the Most High and there are two and two, one against another. And, you know, Jacob and Esau happen to be the two main stars of this whole movie. All right, with, with Jacob being the protagonist and Esau being the antagonist. So, you know, Esau, you know, they, they teach their children, you know, who their enemies are. They teach them superiority. They teach them to have a ruling class mentality. And that's the opposite of what, what, what uh, you know, Jake is taught. Jake is taught to be subservient, you know, go along to get along, love everybody. Esau doesn't live by that. Let's go to uh, Sirach, uh I think it might be 30. Yup, Sirach 30, in verse 3, it says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, Yet he is as though he were not dead, for he have left one behind him that is like himself. So even if the asshole, you know, was to drop dead, you know, his son would pretty much, you know, take his place when he gets older. He'd be the same cracker, you know, going around terrorizing Jake, you know, starting trouble. You know, and this guy was, he, he was terrified, man. You got to hide behind that gun. Well, you know, that's that's part of Esau's blessing. You know, he it said that he would live by the sword. Outside of that 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 sword, he has no strength. Now, he, he's a straight up coward. And when 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 we go into um the birth of uh, Jacob and Esau, you know, Esau came out first all red like a hairy garment, they call his name Esau. Before that, it was said that, you know, two nations were in their womb and two men or people would be separated from uh Rebecca's bowels and one people shall be stronger than the other. All right, now let's go to that real quick. This is one of the reasons why they terrified of us and always feel the need to use excessive force or brute force against us. Uh, Genesis 25 and was it 23? Because they know if it, if it was just toe to toe, Esau is, is uh, more than likely not going to win that. All right, Genesis 25 and 23, and the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And that's, and that's you know, without say, that, that's, that's a fact that the so-called uh, black man is uh, stronger than uh, the Caucasian man, the Edomite man. That's why we dominate in everything, so they're terrified of us. All right. That's why they got to hide behind weapons. And it gives them that the, the, the courage that they normally wouldn't have <laughs> if they ain't have it. Because he put he put the gun down like he was about to step out and then turn around out of nervousness and quickly grabbed for it and accidentally uh, fired. You know, fired by accident, picking the shit up. These devils is cowards for real, man. But, you know, this is what we got to deal with. All right. And, and that hatred will, will, will never die. I don't care how many liberals hold hands with you during them, uh, you know, them, them protest. All right. They, they still are, are just as racist. Because they don't mind. They, they don't mind holding hands with you as long as you being degenerate. If you support those le uh, uh, liberal leftist ideologies, They'll be your your best friend, your best buddies. All right, when it comes to you women being feminists and being against your, your your men and your family structure, you know, the Edomite woman, she'll stand right with you. But when you come to stand up for your own people and recognize that you're behind enemy lines, then you become a threat. This is uh, Psalms 25 
in 19, it says, Consider my enemies, but they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred, especially Esau. Esau hates Jacob's guts. And we, we can go, go back to the original account in Genesis 27 when, you know, Jacob supplanted him for the birthright. And when he went in to get the blessing, you know, he uh, followed the instruction of his mother, Rebecca, and put on a goat skin, which made him hairy. So when, when Isaac touched him, he felt hairy. So he was like, you feel like Esau, but you sound like Jacob. He went on and blessed him. And then when he realized after the blessing that Jacob had left and Esau came into the room and he, and he felt him. And, you know, he, he asked for the blessing and realized <clears throat> that the blessing was already uh, given. So he weeped bitterly and cried like a hoe and said, well, father, are you going to bless me? And then he blessed him and he blessed him with that damn sword. And Esau never be, he'll never put that down. It's the only thing that helped him climb into power and, and, and become the most dominant nation of people. It's through that sword, the, 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 you know, knowing how to use the sword. All right. But those same people, they, they, they hate us. And you, Jake, should know that by now, man. This is how long we've been here. I, the, the, I mean, just given the history. All right. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 35. Yeah, Ezekiel 35, 1, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Uh, he's definitely going to make America, which a lot of them dwells, right here in Babylon, he's going to make it most desolate. All right? It's not going to be inhabited. You know, forever, like like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, he's gonna make an example out of these devils, cause not one is gonna make it up out of here. Despite what uh, uh, Rakab the GOCC talking about, despite what um Pastor uh, Powell's talking about, you know, all these Israelites that try to you know make a case for Edomites, despite what uh Vocab talking about, none of you devils gonna make it. It says, "I will lay thy cities waste." And thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the Lord's going to make sure of that. All right. He's though you build, He's going to throw it down, like it says in Obadiah. All right, you're not going to uh, return and, and, and rebuild the desolate places. He said, um, "Prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise or fill the, the face of the earth with cities." The Lord's going to make sure of that, man. And a little, a, a little motherfucker like that, all right, little, little Tyler or, or, you know, this little demon here, let me go back to the beginning. Him right here, you know, he would just come back and repeat the process. So that's why you got to, you got to cut off the, the seed. All right. And the Lord's going to end up doing that. It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. All the blood that's been spilled since we've been brought over here. Now, I mean, so many atrocities, so much history. That, you, you know, you can't even uh, bring it all out. It's so much to cover. There's still things that we don't know. Well, that blood is going to pursue them. It says, Say if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that's what's going to cleanse this place. As it says in uh, the book of Numbers, uh, the uh, 35th chapter and the 33rd verse. All right. Their blood is going to have to be spilled, you know, that, that, that shed the, the, the blood. Uh, the the so-called Negroes, the uh, the Native Americans, the Gadites, the Reubenites, the Seminoles, all right, the Northern tribes that were all over here, you shed it all their blood, man. And 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 
these these little racist little demons you know there's some of them same souls coming right back that's why it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers all right let's get a uh, real quick job 21 and 19. And it says, the Most High left up his iniquity for his children. He rewarded him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. So the Lord is going to lay up that iniquity, you know, for this, this generation. All right, it all lays within these little demons. Because more than likely, you know, they're that generation coming back, the ones three, four generations back. You know, that either they were watching the lynchings or they, they did the lynchings and burnings and castrations. The whippings, the rapings. All right. And. You know, you what you've done will never be forgotten, and especially. The most I doesn't doesn't forget. Psalms. One oh nine. 14 it says let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out let them be before the lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth all right and that's going to happen all right after those a thousand years yeah you, your, your time is up you're going to be chased away as a dream all right, you, you're gonna be chased out the earth. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna leave you no remnant, <laughs> neither son nor nephew. All right, so you know, get it all out your system now because your kingdom is ending any damn way. Okay, and pretty soon Jake is gonna get roused up. So. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's, uh, you know, more precepts I can pull out, but I think the point was made. You know, I had to do a response on this. All right. He's a little devil right here. And yes, it's taught. All right. But but really, you know, it's it's in them. They, they inherit that going back to their forefathers. For starting from the serpent to Cain to Esau and their descendants of the Edomites. So it's already naturally in them any damn way. But it's all right, though, because we're going we gonna to get that vengeance. And you ain't going to have that sword <laughs> to hide behind it to, to protect you. So anyway, I'm going to end off with that. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Shalom.